What is up guys and welcome back to the Johnicky channel. Thanks so much for watching. You saw the title of this video. Let's get right into it. I'm going to the EOS R I switched. I'm currently using the EOS R to film and not the 6D Mark II. Does it look good? Hope it does. I think it's a little bit better. Oh, that's too bright. I think it's a little bit better. Hoping that it's better. I can't say yet, but in the screen here, it looks really good. I will say it looks a little bit sharper and better than the 6D Mark II. Maybe that's just because it's like a new camera that I haven't dealt with and everything looks good. So I, I think it'll look good. Let me preface this intro with, uh, this is not like an in-depth review or like a really informative review about the specs of the Canon EOS R. This is me more informing you on why I chose the EOS R over other mirrorless cameras and other systems out in the market right now. So let me find a spot to perch you guys and we'll have a talk. All right, perfect. Okay, for me as a videographer, photographer, and a YouTube creator, my name, like the name of the game for me, is portability and workflow, like fast workflow. And the Canon 6D Mark II did that for me. Okay, no complaints about the Canon 6D Mark II. There's little things that I'm like, oh, I wish they could change that, but that's, that's fine, like I'm not complaining. I mean portability and like workflow as far as how fast can I create videos, how fast can I turn the camera on to video and photo and just go for it, right? Let's, this bridge, I have a cool moment with my family and I wanna switch right to photo. Can I do that on the fly? Can I do that on the fly with video? So those are the kind of things that I look for when I wanted to switch. Now I did consider for some time switching over to Sony, only because it had high, I mean, Sony specs are just massive, but there are few key features like the color from the Canon picture that just the Sony didn't really grab my attention for. It wasn't that great, it wasn't on par. And, and for those reasons, that's why I didn't switch over to Sony. And I looked into different cameras like the M5, the M50, the new 90D. I looked into various Canon mirrorless cameras and I decided on going with the EOS R because, not only because it's the camera that people are using to vlog with nowadays, like filmmakers now going from the 6D Mark II to the EOS R, but it has a lot of the features that the Canon 5D Mark IV has that I like Whoa, spider, oh my gosh. <laughs> the photo camera that I use right now is a Canon 5D Mark IV, and that camera is a dream to work with as far as photos. It does video well, but photography, it's just, it's my bread and butter. I always use that thing. And I knew that the EOS R had some of the internal specs of the 5D Mark IV, and that caught my attention, and I was like, okay, that's actually really intriguing. Not only does it have a 30.3 megapixels that the Canon 6D Mark II doesn't have, but I know the 5D Mark IV as far as stills. I know that land, it's my world. Now translate that into a mirrorless camera, that would be perfect, that is perfect. And so that's a big reason as to why I'm, I'm upgrading to the EOR or have upgraded to the EOS R. I mean, it's like Hannah Montana, best of both worlds. That was a really lame reference, cool. And so that's, like I said, one of the big reasons why I chose the EOS R. A lot of people have, like a lot of creators that I follow on YouTube have the EOS R. And, I've seen their videos and what they can produce. And I'm like, okay, I'm, I'm a believer of the camera. It's, if they can do that, then I can do that. And a lot of really big things like that that really swayed me to get the EOS R. Things like Canon Log. For me, that stuff is great. That stuff I'll use every single day and it's gonna be a workhorse. And I know that this camera is a workhorse and I know that I'm gonna use it every single day to the extreme. This is how I see it. It's like a better version of the 6D Mark II but it's just also lighter. And honestly, that, that's how I view it, that's how we see it. And like I said, for me specifically, it's about creating content super quick, super fast. If I can create all my content in, in a fly and not have to learn a new system, I, like, I'm thankful. And that's why the EOS R has all those checkbox marks for me. Not only can I create content on the fly and switch over to photo and video within seconds, go to 60 frames a second, I now have 4K. I have 120 frames a second. You know, and those kind of things are, are the features that really won me over and really made me think about, okay, I'm gonna switch to the US R. Okay, let's be honest, this camera did not get a lot of good reviews. A lot of people weren't really excited when this came out as far as specs, but these people got it. Like these YouTubers and creators got the R and they're like, whoa, I'm so impressed. It's gonna be the new thing. Forging the new frontier as a creator. I know it's not specs heavy. You know, I strongly believe that it's not the gear that makes you good, it's you that makes you good. And if you have a good story to tell, even better. It doesn't matter what kind of camera you have or what gear you choose to have. If, if anything, I'm excited to be creating more and making new stories come alive with this camera. So it's not, 
It's not like I'm thinking, oh, I got a new camera. I'm the next, you know, big name on YouTube. I'm gonna continue to do what I do best, and that's creating. I love creating videos on YouTube. It makes me happy, it fulfills me. Yeah, those are some of the reasons, or a few of the reasons why I chose to upgrade my 6D Mark II to the OSR. Now, that's not to say I'm not gonna use a 6D Mark II. I'm going to use it, but for the most part, vlogging and everything else is gonna be on the OSR. Please let me know down below in the comments if you have any questions I can answer, any review that you wanna see on the OSR, maybe comparing it to the Canon 6D Mark II, let me know. I'll see if I can do some of those. All right, thanks so much for watching. I'll catch you next time on the John the Q channel. Peace.